Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create an arrow wipe transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. So it looks a little bit something like this. All you have is just the arrow that you can control and bring from really any angle to create the transition. So in this situation, I created one that goes left to right and then a second one that goes bottom to top. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is as always, get, create ourselves a new sequence and then drag our footage in. So I have three clips right here that I'll drag in uh, right onto here. And you'll see that they're pretty long. So what I'm gonna do is just find two seconds of them that I like. I like the beginning of this one because of the sun. So we'll move to about two seconds on this one, cut it out. Same over here, uh, drag this over and then find about another two seconds from this one. So maybe like, in the daytime, let's try the daytime this time. And then we'll go one, two, right around there, maybe a little longer. And then finally the last one right here. And then so we just find what we want right here, this is fine. And cut this down to an area of about two seconds, right like that. And so there we have it. Now we have our footage ready to go. So the next thing we're gonna do is we want to actually start layering these on top of each other. I'm gonna hit clear in and out to remove that. So we wanna bring this one up to the very top, our first one. And then the second one will go into the second um, second column right here, or the second track right here. And we wanna drag this so that they overlap just a little bit. This is gonna be where our transition takes place. So however long you create this overlap is how long the transition will take. So in this situation, it's about 20 frames, so about a third of a second. So if that's fine, then go for it and put it right there, and then we'll do this one as well, about the same transition point right here. So then we wanna to go to our top piece of footage. We wanna click on it, and then we want to go down into the effects, and then down to, you can search wipe, or you can search radial wipe to find it, it's under video effects and transition, and we wanna drag that onto the top piece right here. Now, once we hit the uh, once we are up here, we can click on it and go to effect controls, and we can actually begin creating the effect. We'll go down to wipe and we'll change this to both. And then we'll set this to 25%. And what this is gonna do is it's going to create our arrow. What it's doing is it's wiping an area. So if you'll see, it's wiping you know down top to bottom like this. Usually it's set like this because the radio wipe is supposed to go like a clock transition into the next piece. However, we can sort of hack it by making this go to 25% and then setting this to both so that it creates this arrow from a center point. Now, we can then take the start angle and control which direction the arrow is coming in from. So if we set this to, for example, negative 90, it's going to be set perfectly to the left side. So this will be zero, negative 90, 180, and 90, right like so. And so now that we have this control, we can then take the wipe center and we can move it up or down, or in this situation, what we wanna do is move it left to right. And now we can animate our actual um, effect right here. So we'll take the point where it starts, which is right where we're at right here. We're gonna move the wipe center right off screen, click on the toggle animation keyframe button over here. And then what we're gonna do is just move to the very end of the clip right here. And we're gonna make it go all the way across. And so now what we've created is we've created the arrow transition. And then we're just gonna do that one more time for the bottom part. So we'll click on it. We will drag on radial wipe, go into here, type 25%, go with both, and then we can make a different start angle. So let's go top to bottom, so let's keep it where it's at right now. Toggle that wipe center on, go up, right off frame, and then move it over to the very end, like so, and then drag it all the way through. And now we have our effect created. Left to right, top to bottom. And you can see that one was actually very, very fast. So maybe we want to, uh, add a little bit more transition time in so we can drag this one backwards, click on the top one, drag the keyframe back a little bit and look at it from the, again. And that looks a little bit better than the other one. And there you have it. We have created our arrow wipe transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you don't see my videos, start with this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time guys, see ya.